Two independent research teams have just completed one of the most precise quantum experiments ever performed, testing a question that has been unresolved since the birth of quantum mechanics. Using individual atoms and carefully controlled photons, they examined how wave interference behaves when information about a particle's path becomes available. Their results directly confirm a core prediction of quantum theory and resolve one of its longest standing disputes. In the 1920s, Albert Einstein and Niels Bohr famously disagreed over whether quantum mechanics described reality itself or merely our limited knowledge of it. Einstein believed that with a clever enough experiment, one could observe both the particle and wave behavior of a photon at the same time. Bohr argued that this was fundamentally impossible. These new experiments were designed to test that claim with modern tools. In this video, we will examine how they were done, what they really show, and why they matter for modern physics. Let's get started. The new results come from two separate experiments published in Physical Review Letters. One was carried out at MIT under the direction of Wolfgang Ketterle, and the other at the University of Science and Technology of China by Chaoyang Lu and his colleagues. Although the experimental designs were different, both were built to realize a version of Einstein's original proposal with far greater precision than ever before. The problem they set out to test comes from the double slit experiment, where individual photons passing through two openings form an interference pattern, a clear sign of wave behavior. If detectors are used to determine which slit a photon passes through, the interference pattern disappears and the photon behaves like a particle. Einstein suggested that this loss of interference might be avoidable if one could infer the photon's path indirectly by detecting the recoil of the slit rather than interacting with the photon itself. To test this idea, the MIT team replaced physical slits with individual atoms held in place by laser fields. Each atom acted as a possible scattering point for a photon, just as a slit would in the traditional experiment. The light beams were so weak that each atom scattered at most one photon at a time. When a photon struck an atom, the atom recoiled slightly. That recoil carried information about which atom the photon had interacted with, and therefore about its path. By carefully measuring the atom's motion, the researchers could control how much path information existed. At the same time, they measured whether the scattered photons still formed an interference pattern. What they observed was a smooth transition. When the atom's recoil was very uncertain, almost no path information was available, and the interference pattern was strong. As the recoil became more precisely defined, path information increased, and the interference pattern steadily faded. The Chinese team achieved a similar result using a different method. They trapped a single rubidium atom with optical tweezers, allowing its position and motion to be controlled at the quantum level. Light scattered from this atom into two directions, creating the equivalent of a two-path system. By tuning the atom's quantum uncertainty with electromagnetic fields, the researchers could decide how much information about the photon's path was encoded in the atom's motion. Again, the result was a strict trade-off, as more information about the photon's route became available. The visibility of the interference fringes declined. The relationship followed exactly the curve predicted by quantum theory. These experiments showed that even in an almost perfectly isolated and controlled system, there is no way to extract reliable path information without degrading wave interference. Einstein's proposed workaround, which relied on measuring recoil while preserving coherence, does not survive contact with reality. To understand why this result is so significant, it helps to return to the principle at the center of the Einstein-Bohr debate, complementarity. In quantum mechanics, certain properties cannot be simultaneously defined in a single experimental arrangement. Wave-like interference and particle-like path information are one such pair. They are not two incomplete descriptions of the same thing. They are mutually exclusive ways a quantum system can behave. 
Bohr argued that this was not a technical limitation, but a fundamental feature of nature. A system arranged to reveal path information is not the same physical system as one arranged to display interference. Einstein believed this view implied that quantum mechanics was incomplete because it denied that particles possess definite properties independent of measurement. The new experiments show that Bohr's interpretation was correct in a very concrete way. When a photon interacts with an atom, the two become entangled. Information about the photon's path becomes encoded in the atom's quantum state. Once that information exists anywhere in the universe, even if no one reads it, the phase relationships that allow interference are destroyed. This process is known as decoherence. It does not require a human observer. It happens whenever a quantum system becomes correlated with something that could, in principle, distinguish between its alternatives. In the MIT and USTC experiments, the atom itself plays that role. When the atom carries which path information, the photon's wave-like behavior vanishes. What makes these experiments unusually powerful is that the researchers were able to tune how much information existed. They did not simply switch a detector on or off. They adjusted the quantum uncertainty of the atom itself, allowing them to move smoothly between a regime of strong interference and one of clear path knowledge. This produced a precise quantitative relationship between information and interference, confirming the mathematical structure of quantum theory. The result shows that quantum mechanics is not hiding a deeper layer in which particles secretly have both well-defined paths and coherent waves. Instead, it shows that information is a physical quantity. The universe cannot support both complete wave coherence and complete path knowledge at the same time, because the quantum state itself does not allow it. Beyond settling a historical argument, these experiments open a new window on one of the deepest questions in physics, how quantum systems become classical ones. Decoherence is the process that makes macroscopic objects behave normally instead of displaying quantum interference. But despite decades of study, it has been difficult to observe and control this transition in a clean, isolated way. By using single atoms and single photons, these experiments provide exactly that control. Researchers can decide how much information leaks into the environment and watch how coherence disappears as a result. This makes it possible to test detailed models of quantum measurement, not just in theory but in the laboratory. The implications extend into technology. Quantum computers rely on interference between different quantum states to perform calculations. Any unwanted path information leaking into the environment causes decoherence and destroys that interference. The ability to quantify exactly how information loss affects coherence is crucial for improving qubit stability. Quantum communication is affected in a similar way. Secure quantum cryptography works because any attempt to measure a quantum signal necessarily changes it. The same trade-off demonstrated in these experiments underlies that security. The Chinese team has already indicated that they plan to use their setup to explore more complex systems involving multiple atoms and photons. By studying how entanglement and decoherence interact in larger networks, they hope to better understand how quantum information spreads and degrades. That has implications not only for quantum technologies, but also for fundamental physics, including theories of space-time and gravity. What began as a thought experiment in the 1920s has now become a practical research tool. Einstein and Bohr were asking what reality permits. Today's physicists are using that answer to probe the structure of the quantum world in new ways. These experiments confirm that quantum mechanics sets real limits on what can be known. Wave behavior and particle paths cannot exist together in the same physical reality. A century-old debate has now been settled by direct measurement, 